Morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, as you can see from today's video title, I will be reviewing my Chanel Beautiful Esprit Girls, right? And yes, as shown in the title, why these popular and beautiful shoes do not work for me or why they did not work for me. Well, they are, of course, in the classic beige and black in the lambskin leather. And um, I bought these to be very precise in the year 2020. Um, towards the end of 2020, I think it was in October or November. So it's been around 18 months. And if I have to be honest, I think I have worn these like a handful of times um, in these 18 months. Now, um, I'm not going to go over all the features of these shoes. I mean, everybody knows. Um, as you can see, I've not worn them too much, so they're not that dirty. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go over the features because everybody's aware of how, um, you know, popular these are. They're so classic. So, um, like I said, they are in the beautiful beige and black lambskin. But, um, why they didn't work for me. So, I'll talk about a couple of the pros and then I'll get to why they didn't work for me. And why, you know, I am thinking of either letting these go or go down to the Chanel boutique and ask them what I can do. So the pros, hands down, these are some of the most comfortable shoes that I have ever worn. I do tend to wear um, closer shoes uh, because here in Singapore we tend to walk a lot. Um, so for me, you know, op closed shoes are far more comfortable than open shoes are. So for that very reason, I try and wear a lot of espadrilles, I'll try and wear a lot of loafers, and I'll also try and invest in really good pairs of trainers. So, like I said, right off the bat, very, very comfortable shoes. Um, the lambskin kind of just settles onto your foot very quickly. And um, it, you know, you really don't feel that it's a new shoe that needs to open up. So yes, if you're looking for comfort, please go for these. Number two, the color transfer. I don't have any color transfer on these, as you can see. Um, it is a light color lambskin, so it was something I was very careful about, though I have worn them on denim. Of course, if I'm wearing jeans, it's a dark blue denim, and um, I have not even thought once that maybe there would be a color transfer. So keeping that in mind, I think these have worn beautifully. As you can see, the leather is now in its, I would say, rawest form because there are these beautiful wrinkles, which just look so natural. And they really show you um, the history of the shoe and you know how old it is or how worn it is. Mine, of course, is not that worn, so and please ignore the background noise my son's playing. So anyway, um, yeah, there's hardly been any color transfer on these. Um, if I am to talk about the cons and the reason why I am a little, um, you know, unhappy with these and why I'm thinking of letting them go is because of the fact that I have some pop stitches on these already, as you can see right here, right? So this is clearly a pop stitch, which I understand can happen. But, I mean, with the price and, you know, the prestige this, this shoe comes with, it's not something I expected so soon. Um, I am yet to contact the boutique and check with them if this can go in for a repair and what's going to happen. And, um, you know, it, it, if I, maybe I think it's the reason why this kind of leads to my second point and why I am thinking of letting these go. Um, Okay, so like I said, I've worn them over a span of 18 months, a handful of times. So the shoe has very beautifully opened up and has adjusted for my foot. Nothing wrong with this shoe. This is exactly my size. By the way, I didn't size up or down. I am a size 35 and this is very true to size. So I didn't size up or down and they, has, have fit, they fit comfortably like a glove. But I don't know, maybe because it's a, because of the pop stitch or um, what it is that the back for this shoe, the left shoe, has really become loose. So now when I slip my foot in, it slips right out because when I'm walking, the shoe does not grasp properly onto my heel, right? So um, 
I, I fail to understand why that's happening. I don't know, maybe because, I mean, I don't think it would be this pop stitch because, I mean, come on, it's just a couple of stitches. But it's just become so loose at the back that um, it's very, of course, uncomfortable to walk in. So when you're walking, um, you want your ankle to be fully gripped into the shoe. And my ankle pops right out. This shoe, like I said, is absolutely fine. The only problem I'm having now is with this shoe. So, like I said, I've been thinking of either letting these go or speak to the Chanel boutique about how they can fix this for me. Maybe get in, in, you know, in soles for these because I really love them, you guys. They're, they're such a classic and I think they are still priced. I will not say they are cheap, but they are priced at a relatively better price point than some of the other fashion houses, the shoes that the other fashion houses are carrying so um yeah so if you guys have any suggestions please leave them in the comments below like i said i i, I don't want to let them go in fact i had thought of already adding some more to my collection because i love espadrilles i love loafers i love closed shoes um i love open shoes as well but because we walk here so often i am more comfortable with the closed ones with that being said i'm going to wrap up today's video and thank you guys so, so much for tuning back in. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.